All right, good afternoon. We'll go ahead and get started. Open it up to your questions. Yeah, uh, nothing, nothing really definitive at this point. Still going through uh, tests at this point. Any other injuries yesterday? Other than uh, no, I, th I think they we came out uh, came out rather healthy, all things considered. A day later, what do you now that you kind of had a chance to digest what happened? Um, the bad was, of course, how the offense played in the first three quarters or so, or at first half. What do you make of the resilience that this team showed and the defense of it? Yeah, we talk about playing playing the game for 60 minutes and uh, or however long it takes. And I thought they found a way. Um, you know, offensively, I, I would say I thought we moved the ball um, prior to those drives uh, towards the back half of the third quarter and then the then the fourth quarter, but. Uh, we shot ourselves in the foot with turnovers and penalties and, and uh, costly penalties. So, um, but outside of that, I thought we moved the ball. So uh, they hung with it, made some adjustments, and uh, and played good, you know, sound football in the third and fourth quarter there. Last week you had talked about wanting to see what the identity of the team would become as you got into the first week of the season. What did you learn about your team's identity after yesterday? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's going to be defined as we move throughout the season here, Josh. Uh, with all due respect to your question, I think overall, um, you know, I, I would say I wasn't necessarily surprised by the toughness, the mental toughness um, um, component of the football team. Um, we've worked in that area. We've worked on situational football. Um, I was, it, and, it's, and it's shown up. I know Sal, I think, asked a question a few weeks ago Maybe it was after the Detroit game or the Vikings game, and albeit it was preseason, we were seeing some signs of that. And um, and my hope is that that will continue to grow as we go through the season, and and we'll be in more challenging situations. Um, uh, this week will be one going going to New York and another home opener. So um, you know we've got a lot of work to do, um, but it was good to get a win, uh, good to get it in front of a number of our fans that made the trip. Um, over to uh, New York City there, so I uh, really appreciate that. In that sense, though, if you reflect back to a year, you know, last year's season opener when things just simply unraveled, um, what did you learn about this this team that did not unravel in, in when, when times got tough? Yeah, I mean, again, I, I go back to the DNA of the of the of the uh, uh, of our players, the DNA of our staff. Um, uh, we've been there before. I think you learn from some of the scars of, of the past as well, and you learn from from um, from previous experience, and so now that we've built some continuity with, within some of the players, with with some of the staff as well, I think you you build on those shared experiences. Sean, where does that start? That mental toughness, because <clears throat> it's year three for you. You're building a program, but you also have 23 new players, right? I mean, so you want to always do it, but not everybody's been here for three years. So where does that start to get to kind of where you are now? Well, it starts with, uh, you know, my opinion, it starts with the DNA of the players we bring in um, and, and the staff, right, with the people we've got in this building, um, you know, highly competitive individuals, highly, highly uh, passionate, uh, you know, very passionate about what they do and how they do it and a lot of pride in what they do. Um, so uh, not everything is always going to go our way, and, and I think the people – you know, they take it, uh, take it to heart in, in terms of when things aren't going our way, and they try and find ways to figure it out and fix it, which is we want to be solution-oriented, and, and, um, and, uh, and, and we were uh, in, in time yesterday. So. Coach, six plays for 20 yards or more yesterday, not counting the one that got one yards sacked off for it. Just your thoughts about what that might be an early indication of what the offense might be capable of in terms of you know, delivering a big play when you need it. Yeah. Um, you know, John Brown, I thought, did a nice job yesterday, and, and he factored into some of those big plays. Devin um, and Josh obviously had a hand in, in, in some of those as well. So, um, But to have the protection up front, to be able to do some things in the run game, I thought the blend was good there um, in the second half. And, and so um, I just thought overall uh, we showed some things, the ability to move the chains. Um, from a positive standpoint, and, and then the ability to create the chunk plays um, was was good to see as well. Would you like to settle on a player at right tackle, or is that rotation something that you could maybe do more of going forward? 
Yeah, I think we'll settle. We'll settle when when we feel like we need to settle on that. You know, um, the, I like the competition. I like <clears throat> with um, you know with with the quality of the depth we have there with those guys that played yesterday and and in in addition to some others. Quite honestly, um, it's good to get those guys playing time and. Uh, you know, it allowed it afforded Cody an opportunity to, to watch from the sideline and and and, and see uh, things from a different perspective, which, as we talked about, was was scripted out. Um, so that that competition is is good for us, and will continue um, based on each game plan. When you got a chance to look at the film, especially down the stretch, what, what jumped out at you about Ty's? Yeah, I mean, Ty's an experienced player. Um, you know, I know. He's played a lot of a lot of games and, and played a lot of snaps, and so um, you know he doesn't say a whole lot, but just really appreciate the way that he worked, the way that he helped Cody on the sideline, um, the way that he was able to communicate the looks that we were getting uh, on the field and uh, when he was on the boundary with with the coaches there, and and so um, listen, like all of us, we've got a lot of work to do, uh, Ty included, myself included, probably more than anybody, so. Um, you know, we go back to work, turn the page, and, and on at the Giants. What's it like when, when newcomers, some of the key players that brought in in free agency, even drafted, you know, I mean, John Brown contributes as the guy you've wanted for two years. Um, Devin Singletary, what's, 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 what glimpses do you see, and what does that make of some of the additions that you made this offseason? Yeah, no, it's been, it's been good for us. It really has. I mean, again, you go back to not just adding players, but the right types of players. Um, the right types of people to our to our players that were already here in house, and um, there are there is some new faces as Sal mentioned. Um, some of the some of the young faces, some of the new faces through veteran free agency with John Brown, and and the list could go on there. And, and then the young the guys uh, the young guys that contributed yesterday, Devin Singletary, Dawson I mean Dawson Knox, all these guys I mean around 20 or so reps uh, each of them, give or take there. So. Tommy Sweeney had a catch. Dawson had a catch. Uh, Devin, um, you know, made made his first appearance in, in, in an NFL regular season game, and um, you know, Cody Ford, Ed Oliver. So um, those are those are good moments for our young players, and, and as we continue to build this program, um, to create a good solid foundation. Sean, what does it say about where Josh is in his development that you were comfortable enough opening the first game of his second season, throwing the ball 18 straight, or 18 straight pass plays, a handful of which were out of the middle of it. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it goes back to um, Josh's second year in the system and the continuity, <clears throat> excuse me, that we have, and and just the clarity with with which I think he operates in terms of where he knows his guys are going to be, and um, there's there's a lot of guys out there that he trusts, and um, and so uh, you know, look, he's not, we're not, again, a finished product, but we have to continue to to grow that as well, and and. Uh, be able to handle uh, those situations, uh, whether it's no huddle, whether it's taking the check downs, whether it's throwing the ball down the field. It's all part of being a, a complete offense. Sean, with uh, Andre Roberts getting about a full week of rest, what's the outlook on him this week? Yeah, we'll see. Um, again, I haven't gotten the full report from the uh, from the trainers yet today, um, but I know that he's heading in, the, in, in, in a good direction there. So, Sean, after watching the film, what are the early returns of Yeah, I thought overall the front as a as a group really played hard. Um, I think they got got there four times and affected the quarterback a number of other times. So it was a good start. Um, still, I think there's more in there. I think there's more in there for our team, um, and I think there's more in there for our defensive line, Ed included. So, uh, but a good first first game. Um, I loved his effort. Um, he, he looked like he tried to execute the game plan, um, which sometimes for young guys is hard to. Uh, absorb all of that and plus play um, when they're tr when somebody on the other side of them is trying to trying to kick their tail there. So, um, but uh, a good first step uh, w with many more steps ahead. Sean, same question on Mitch Morris's first action. He obviously didn't play in the preseason. Yeah, um, you know, I I think overall, you know, we were able to see Mitch for ourselves as well, first time in in in, uh, in a game setting for the most part, just in terms of playing with the guys around him. Um, you know, the chemistry, the, the uh, communication, um, you know, he, he had some nice uh, blocks, I thought, in the run game, which helped spring some of our backs, or Josh one time in particular. 
Um, and then just, again, the cohesiveness and the communication with the protection uh, down the stretch there was important for us. I thought he did a nice job.